Today, I'm gonna show you how to clean your liver to lower your blood sugar levels quickly. I'm gonna show you the three main ways that are backed by science actually work and I personally do daily. Not to brag, but my liver is clean as a whistle according to my latest liver enzyme results. And my latest A1C is below the average level for somebody living in the United States. So if you've been waking up with high fasting blood sugar levels or your A1C is creeping up, even when you lowered your carb intake, skipped meals, fasted, and took all of your medications as prescribed, then your liver is likely to blame. The good news is that you can actually clean it up in weeks. So listen up. These are the three science-backed ways to flush liver fat so it actually starts working for you, not against you. The first strategy is one you can start with food that you already have in your kitchen. You just have to choose it wisely. The second one works in as little as 20 minutes, but you have to do it consistently. And the last one works 24 seven, even while you're asleep. But first, Let's dive into why a clogged up liver is likely to blame for your high fasting blood sugar levels and your high A1C, which is also known as your average blood sugar levels. In the early morning hours between 4 a.m. to 6 a.m., your body is flooded with hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. Those hormones tell your liver to start pumping glucose into the bloodstream to give you energy for the day ahead. A few moments later, insulin, another hormone, is released by your pancreas to put a stop to all of this. Insulin is like a messenger that tells your liver, hey, stop making glucose, we have enough already. However, when your liver is packed with fat, it becomes insulin resistant, meaning that it ignores insulin's signal to stop pumping glucose into the bloodstream. So even if your blood sugar is already high, the liver keeps pumping more and more sugar into the bloodstream. This is the main reason why you're waking up with high fasting blood sugar levels. The worst part is that cleaning that sugar out is harder than you think, especially if your muscle cells are also insulin resistant. This means that they cannot absorb all of that circulating blood sugar efficiently. This double resistance is something that most people have never been told about. And it's also the reason why many people hyper focus on cutting carbs when the smarter move is to focus on strategies that clean the liver so it starts listening to insulin again. That's where the solution relies. When liver fat goes down, many people see better fasting blood sugar, better A1C, better insulin sensitivity, lower inflammation, lower triglycerides, lower HDL, and so on. So how do we actually clear this fat? Let's start with the most underrated lever. Number one, the calorie density reset or strategic under eating, as I call it. No gimmicks, no detox teas, just low calorie density, high volume, high fiber food. So your liver can finally catch up and start burning fat instead of storing it. Here's why it works. By filling up in foods that are big in volume, but low in calories, you can actually eat until you're full without tracking a single calorie. The fiber and water will fill you up long before you can overeat, creating a natural calorie gap that forces your body and your liver to burn stored fat. This is one of the fastest ways to improve insulin sensitivity and bring blood sugar down back under control. So here's what it looks like. Pile on fiber like leafy greens, cruciferous vegetables, beans, lentils, oats, quinoa, fruit. Then also focus on whole carbs, not refined carbohydrates, such as intact whole grains, legumes, starchy vegetables, definitely ditched added sugars and refined flours, and also focus on moderate fat consumption, especially from plant-based sources, such as nuts, seeds, avocado, but be portion aware when you add fats to your diet. It's basically like a Mediterranean style diet with the volume dialed way up on high fiber foods. And yes, you can still eat some animal products like lean fish and chicken. Now, 
I know that a lot of people get confused when it comes to what do I actually eat day after day. That's why we have created a free guide with meal plans that follow this exact same way of eating, complete with delicious, easy to make recipes. You don't have to guess anymore, just follow the plan. The link to grab it is below this video. I am not making this up. This actually works. As a matter of fact, this is study that compiled many different studies that looked into the treatment of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease found the following. A randomized controlled crossover trial comparing the Mediterranean diet with a low-fat diet in 12 subjects with biopsy-proven non-alcoholic fatty liver disease showed improved insulin sensitivity and reduced hepatic steatosis on magnetic resonance spectroscopy after six weeks in the Mediterranean diet group. Hands down, go for a Mediterranean diet high in fiber. Again, the link to the meal plan is below this video. Okay, so strategic under eating is very powerful by itself. But if you want a faster liver reset, this next one turns your muscles into a glucose sponge. Number two, the sugar sponge workout. When you move, your muscles soak up glucose without needing insulin. It happens through a mechanism known as contraction-mediated glucose uptake. So it works for absolutely everyone who is willing to put in the work. As a matter of fact, this study, Physical Activity Protocols in Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease Management, a systematic review of randomized clinical trials and animal models, found that both aerobic exercise and resistance exercise have been demonstrated to reduce liver fat and improve insulin resistance and blood lipids regardless of weight loss. So taking this study into consideration, this is going to be your simple weekly plan. For aerobic exercise, you're gonna do the following. Four to five times per week, brisk walking, cycling, or incline treadmill for 20 to 30 minutes each day. I recommend walking after meals for 15 to 20 minutes each time, since that is the time of the day in which your body needs the most help clearing glucose. And number two, as equally important, resistance training, three times per week. You can do it from your own home with resistance bands and each workout will take you no more than 30 minutes to complete. I made a free routine for everyone willing to put in the work. I'll go ahead and leave the link below this video so you can grab it. Even if you are in a wheelchair, you will be able to do this resistance bands workouts. Here's what people notice in as little as one week of consistent resistance training. Lower post-meal spikes. Better next morning fasting blood sugar levels. Visible drop in waist and visceral fat, even though this takes a little bit more than a few weeks. Better sleep and higher energy levels throughout the day. All of these benefits are clear signs of a liver that is cleaning itself from toxic fat buildup. Now, if you want to supercharge the effects of those two lifestyle habits that I just mentioned, then you can go ahead and take this supplement that will help your cells become more insulin sensitive. Insulin sensitivity means that your liver and muscles are going to start responding better to the signals of insulin, which is exactly what you need to lower your blood sugar levels. So the third science-backed way to clean your liver and lower your blood sugar is berberine supplementation. And it works 24-7 even while you sleep as long as you take it twice per day. Supplements aren't magic. They are multipliers when you pair them with proper food and movement. So what we recommend is taking 600 milligrams of berberine twice a day with your meals. It activates AMPK, a cellular pathway linked to burning liver fat and improving insulin signaling. And it also improves fasting blood sugar levels and post-meal blood sugar levels. Now, this is not medical advice, so please check with your clinician, especially if you're taking diabetes medications already. If you look at the strongest evidence out there, berberine always comes out winning when it comes to improving metabolic biomarkers, such as blood glucose, lipids, and liver enzymes. This recent study, the clinical efficacy and safety of berberine in the treatment of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a meta-analysis and systematic review, demonstrates 
berberine's efficacy in improving liver enzymes, lipid profiles, and insulin sensitivity in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease patients. These results indicate that berberine shows promise as an adjunct therapy for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. If you want to give it a go, we highly recommend Jade Supplements Pure Berberine. It contains 600 milligrams of active compounds per capsule. So you would be getting the clinically effective dose of 1200 milligrams per day. We recommend taking one capsule in the morning with food and one capsule in the evening with food. If you're somebody that skips breakfast, no problem. You can have it with lunch and dinner. All orders come with the ultimate guide on how to take berberine correctly and tips and tricks to lower your blood sugar levels fast. I'll go ahead and leave the link below this video so you can get it. Okay, to recap, number one, calorie density reset, fiber rich whole foods, low in fat and sugars. A link to the free meal plan is below this video. Number two, the sugar sponge workout, 20 minute resistance sessions and 15 to 20 minutes post meal walks. The link for a free workout plan is below this video. And number three, 600 milligrams of berberine twice per day with meals. A link to Jade Supplements Pure Berberine with a discount code is below this video as well. None of this is magic, but it feels like it when your fasting blood sugar levels drop 20, 30, 50, 100 points and your energy levels come back. Now, I have a question for you. Have you ever seen your fasting blood sugar levels go up when you actually ate less food the night before? Let me know in the comments below what happened and what are you currently dealing with? I read every single one of your comments. If this video helped you, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to our channel. You've got this. Let's clean that liver and take your power back. See you in the next video. Take care.